Hello everybody, today's the day we are back for a second season of Fighter Subscriber and you've sent me a load of craft. Um, I have eight that are basically uh, ready and waiting to go. There are three more that I've got to get in, get back in touch with their creators about uh, clarifications and or possible redesigns. Um, but yeah, no shortage of craft here. My craft are going to remain the same for this one. Uh, as many of you will probably have seen, I have tried to make something a bit new, but in the end it wasn't, wasn't really an out-and-out -out fighter, so uh, I've decided to stick with what I know. Uh, the rules as well, pretty much the same again, but um, I have been a little bit more explicit on a couple of uh, a couple of details uh, in response to a request from you guys. Uh, as always, the rules will be in the description. The format has changed ever so slightly. The basic idea is the same. You send me a craft, I put it into a, a bunch of 3v3s against my own craft. Um, then I'm going to allot it points uh, as using the point system that briefly cameoed in last season's final. And uh, the uh, the craft that has the most points uh, in the final episode will be declared the uh, the fighter subscriber champion. There will be a knockout competition to determine a knockout champion, but that will be between the four highest scoring fighters. In the event of any ties, I do have a tie break mechanism worked out, but uh, well, you know, cross that bridge and all that. If you need any clarification on any of the points I have raised, then please leave me a comment and uh, I will answer that to the best of my ability. But I've been waffling on for long enough now. I think it's time to meet today's contender. So of the eight craft that are good to go, uh, Google's random number generator has kindly selected this for me. This is the Legion Atmos Fighter by Rowan Vidge. And uh, it's an unconventional, quirky looking craft. And I do like a quirky looking craft. It's a single engine fighter, but that is one of the uh, BD Armory Saturn turbojets on the back there. So uh, don't be fooled, it does pack a punch. I've taken it up for a test flight, of course, and uh, it's light, it's agile. Uh, just from flying it, I get a feeling it'll be manoeuvrable without being squirrely, which uh, stands it in good stead. But you didn't come to listen to me drone on about this aircraft, no. You came to watch the fights, so let's get that started. So, uh, you know the drill by now, or if you don't, you soon will. Um, to start the entire season, then, it will be three of these legions against three of my Cyclones, so to get this whole thing rolling, let's get them into the air. Here we go then. Any second... now. Both sets of craft turn to fight. I'm assuming both sets will get the missiles away. There go the legions. This is going to be very interesting because this, this is a single engine craft, it's it's the more powerful Saturn after burning jet engine. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how that, that plays out against um, my two engine craft. Just a little reminder, I don't turn infinite fuel on, you will need all the fuel your craft um, your craft needs to last the fight on board when you send the uh, send the fighter to me. No casualties from the first volley, it looks like. I'm not sure, because these are these have got a better specific impulse, but they're much, much higher thrust. And I think that probably means they, these are draining the fuel reasonably rapidly. That was something. That is one of the Cyclones down to a missile kill almost immediately. More explosions there. It's a Cyclone. That's one of the Legions. Some of the Legions are right in up close and personal now. Gunfire coming in. Jebediah leading the charge, as he, as you'd expect him to, really. Gunfire coming in. Not quite finding the mark on that cyclone, though. More explosions. I don't think anything else is. Those are just missiles. No debris falling. Oh, and that is another missile kill. That's one of the cyclones. That is Valentina. Ooh, that has got to hurt. Just the one Cyclone left then, Rowena Kerman. Two very early missile kills for the Legion. Maybe a bit of luck, but I'm sure they'll take it all day long. Missile incoming for Rowena now. Has to, uh, has to pop some chaff, but dodging those bullets is going to be a slightly more difficult matter. Two behind her now. Where's the third? 
tries to come about. I don't know that's going to be much good. Two on our tail again, one faffing about, trying to do something or other. This, I think, has just become a case of how long can you survive. Has to pop some chaff. Where's that missile coming from? And that is yet another missile kill for the Legions. The first fight is a clean sweep to the subscriber craft. That is, um... That's not what I was expecting. But fair play to the Legions, um... Yeah, let's see how they do against some arguably sterner opposition. So a bloody nose for my own craft in that fight as all three of my Cyclones fall to relatively early missile kills. Um, but let's see if my club tails, my slightly more manoeuvrable craft, can, uh, can restore some of my pride. So uh, let's get them into the air. Coming up on that eight kilometre mark, so... There we go. Ding, ding, round two. Yeah, that last result really did surprise me because, um... For those of you who've been watching a few of these, you'll know that whenever I get any craft, I do a series of test fights. I normally stick one of these up against one of my cyclones just to make sure there's nothing majorly wrong. And in those fights, the cyclones were winning about 80% of the time. And then I do a 3v3 and... These fighters wipe the floor with them. So yeah, an interesting an interesting result. Richmore Kerman turns around, gets another missile away. No missile kills early on with the first volley. Let's see how let's see what happens with the second volley, because uh, I don't think you can rule anything out. I also noticed my cyclones sort of looked like they were flipping out. And I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the... Ooh! Richmond Kerman turns and goes straight into a missile. That is, um... Well, that's a turnabout in form. He's trying to... <laughs> He's still trying to fly, bless him. I'd, um... Ooh! There goes your other canard. He's certainly tenacious, I'll give him that. Let's uh, let's switch to Daffy Kerman. Daffy Kerman coming around. Switches to guns. Has a decent chance at getting this club tail down. If she can get her guns to fire true. Debris crashing to the ground there. Yep, yeah, that's Richmond Kerman. He's making a go of it, isn't he? Oh, that is a golden opportunity. Can you get guns into that club tail? No, you can't. And now... Oh, and now it's the club tail's guns that prove to be the undoing of Daft B. Kerman. Oh, loses more stuff. And now she's down to... It's down to exactly the same parts that um, Rich Mulcairn was just minutes ago. Isn't isn't quite fighting the inevitable to quite the same quite the same extent. So it is all on Jebediah. This one might be a tall order for you, buddy. Now with that range, I'm expecting some missiles to start flying in before too long. Here comes one of them. Gets a missile away of his own. Guns rain in. There goes his engine. <laughs> Manages to dodge that missile still. Gets another missile away. Still fighting. God bless you, Jebediah Kerman. You are making a proper go of it. Oh, this is, um... This is looking less good. And it's still the exact same components. <laughs> just those core components of, the, of this craft that are just absolutely invincible. Ah. Oh. 
So a complete reversal for my own craft. A clean sweep for the club tails. So, uh, yeah, I suppose now we need to go to the tie break. Well, well, well. Three holes in a ground. <laughs> I'm sorry, no. Um, yes. So this sets up a very interesting final fight between these, uh, these legions and my uh, flying wing-esque panthers. So, uh, let's see how this one goes. Let's, uh, let's get it started. So, for one final time this episode, let's fight. Uh, during the last fight, I was about to say about my cyclones um, flipping out. It might be down to uh, reported aerodynamic changes that occurred in 1.7. Um, I haven't been able to find hide nor hair of them in the uh, patch notes anywhere, but um, it's one of the things absolutely everybody online is absolutely convinced that they have occurred, so I'm willing to take their word for it. But yeah, those cyclones did seem to be behaving a little bit differently. As I said, uh, spinning out a couple of times, and especially with that last one where it got a missile full to the face. Let's see how this one progresses though. No missile kills in that first volley. And after the previous two fights, you'd, you'd bet on some missile kills. Rich Mulkerman. I thought I had a bit of an explosion, but no, that's everybody's fine. Everyone's still flying. Here comes a missile. Or is that a missile flying into the opponents? Yeah, that's one of the... One of the missiles going after one of the Panthers, but uh, doesn't find its mark. Now Rich McCormick has guns incoming from one of those Panthers. Has to pull some evasive manoeuvres. Hope one of his wingmen can come and help him out. Because that is not a safe place to be. These Panthers are quite steady in the shot. Oh, just almost grazing his engine. Another... Another fight, going, another fight going on over there. It looks again as if one of the Panthers is on the tail of one of the uh, Legions. All but uh, Richmond Kerman's erstwhile opponent has been distracted. Could this be the opportunity he needs? Now he is turning around to fight that, uh, that Panther over there. More missiles going back and forth. Looked like one of the craft might have got a bit scorched there. Oh, it's where? Dang, one of the Panthers is gone. Where did that panther go? I did not see that happen. Was it forced into the ground? They're all still flying. Hang on. Ooh. Lost engines. Must have lost the weapon manager or have the weapon manager detached. Something goes bang. And yes, that is one of the legions out now. As I'm distracted by Shawnee Kerman's failing panther, Jebediah Kerman, laying guns into one of those panthers now. With the flying wing arrangement, it's a reasonably large target. Something else is about to explode. No. Just a bit of lag. Lining up the shot. Surely this is it, Jebediah. Finish. Finish them. Scorches it again. Goes into a bit of a spin. Valentina Kerman. Goes into a bit of a spin. Loses speed. And that Legion goes flying past. But Valentina is not in a mood to capitalise. Lost a wing tip. I'm not sure that should affect her too much. It's looking like it's advantage Legions at the moment. Richmond Kerman, I think that's Valentina's injured craft that he's going after. Where is that other panther? Over there. Rowena Kerman. Oh, it's Rowena Kerman drawing the fire. Not looking promising. Gets into a bit of a spin. Seems like all the craft are uh, having that problem today. 
that Legion fighter does go flying past, though a little bit too powerful for its own good. I've noticed that a few times during these fights. Canarina Kerman, bring it about, bring guns to bear. It's not the most manoeuvrable of craft, this Panther, but um, somewhat reliable in the shot. Back over here, Valentina Kerman, missing a wingtip, but is managing to put guns onto that Legion. That Legion fires a missile over at Rowena Kerman's Panther. We'll add a little bit of complication. Uh, we'll add a complication as she's trying to avoid the Legion's gunfire on her tail. Having a little bit of difficulty maneuvering, maneuvering missing that wingtip. Does have to break off. We'll try and reacquire the target. Oh, that was very close indeed. Another golden opportunity. Oh, get scorched. Doesn't look like there was any major damage there. Over here, it's still a legion stuck to the tail of the panther. Valentina comes round. Oh, and that looks like it is the end of Rowena Kerman. If Valentina wants to finish off this uh, this Legion fighter, she is going to have to be quick, but no. Ooh, dodges a missile just as she gets a missile away of her own. And with all the missile kills... Oh no, that is well wider the mark, though. Well wider the mark. And now with two... Two of these Legion fighters on a... It's not looking good. Valentina is going to have to come up with a minor miracle to save this one. Those legions just um, minding their own business at the moment, but uh, I'm sure before too long they'll pay start paying attention to Valentina, and indeed they do. There's a missile coming in and some gunfire. Missile is dodged with relative ease. Another one comes in. I'm assuming that's a sidewinder as the flares are being uh, chucked out. But the flares are not enough. And Valentina finally succumbs. And just to add insult to injury... Yeah. So the final fight goes to the Legions. 2-1 winners overall. We'll tot up the uh, we'll tot up the scores a little bit later, but yeah. A good day for the Legions. So two wins and one loss for the Legion Atmos Fighter. And if we bring up our at this point rather sparsely populated leaderboard we can see that with uh, six kills and five survivors over the three fights that gives the legion a total of 11 points a very respectable total there for the legion uh my huge thanks to rowan vige for that craft and uh, if you want to get involved it's not too late to get into this season of fighter subscriber all the details will be in the description but for now thanks for watching take care and i'll see you next time